What's going on you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video. Today's video, I am extremely excited to talk about the new San Jose Sharks alternate jersey. I made a video a few weeks ago, or not even a few weeks ago, a few days ago, talking about the leaks that came out of this jersey. And uh, we're finally here to talk about this thing. I'm super excited. It didn't take long after the leaks came out to actually get the jersey revealed, which is great because we saw like, I would say 75% of the jersey from those leaks. The only thing that was missing is what the stripes were going to look like. And I'm not gonna lie, they didn't disappoint. Before you guys ask in the comments, don't worry. I do plan on making a video talking about the stadium series jerseys that were released today. So if you guys are new to the channel or you guys wanna watch that and you guys haven't subscribed, I would recommend doing so, it would mean a lot to me. Then you guys can see that video when it comes out tomorrow. I also have a video talking about the Vancouver Canucks metallic blue helmets. So if you guys wanna see that video as well, make sure to subscribe, that'll come out maybe tomorrow or the next day. Let's not waste any time, let's dive into this. We've already seen some of this jersey, so it's probably gonna be a little bit of a quicker reaction, but I still wanna talk about it. Let's show the first photo up on the screen here, which is the whole entire jersey, except kind of the torso striping, I guess. But you can definitely see the arm striping and the logo very well here. We'll get the logo opinion out of the way because we already dissect that. This thing's perfect. There's nothing I would change about this logo. I think this thing is perfect. Let's talk about the kind of the number kit here because I really like that. Uh, the number kit is pretty much the San Jose Sharks current jersey numbers that they have, but just brought over on a black jersey. It looks really good. I feel like I'm repeating myself in the video I did a few days ago talking about this, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. You guys can see a photo of the back of the jersey here. You can kind of start to see the sleeve striping, which is where I get really excited and what I'm really pumped for. You can see again, the number kit looks really good. The white numbers just really pop on this thing. I love that. But this cuss or this striping on here, what I love about it is how basic the three stripes are. It is probably the most basic of basic jersey striping that you can have. Just having those two stripes and then a thicker one in the middle. There, it doesn't get more basic than that. But what's cool is the striping underneath. It really is just like the New York Rangers alternate jersey that they came out with. Uh, if you guys remember that, it's very similar striping, just done a little bit differently. I think that sleeve striping looks so cool because it starts off as thick kind of teal stripes and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes down the arm to it pretty much fades to nothing, which I think is really cool. I really like that. It's, it's kind of unique in a sense. I guess it is and it isn't because New York Rangers literally just did it, but I think it is still unique because even the Rangers one is unique, but this is cool. It's kind of almost taking like a stage gradient effect, effect even though it's not, it has the teal and it just slowly goes to nothing. You guys can see the next photo here, which is the bottom of the jersey. You can also see more of that arm striping. You can see how the black, I don't know, this is gonna be really hard to explain, but on the teal on the arm, it's got a thin black stripe, and then at the bottom where the black is got a thin teal stripe, and then they just alternate, which this looks really good. The bottom of the jersey, however, has that, but it's not as intense. It, it, it's because there's so much less of the jersey at the bottom. It's just got little bit stripes going to nothing, which I still think looks really good. I think this striping just adds to a simple, clean jersey. The only thing I think would look really good on this is if they kept their exact same striping that they have on their home jersey with the wave pattern in the teal here with this kind of cool striping here i think that would look so good there may be just too much going on so maybe that's why they didn't go with that approach but i think that would have looked really really cool you can see a photo here of the socks the socks are essentially the exact same as the sleeve just on a sock and these socks are fantastic this is super duper nice and then quickly we have the shoulder patch here with a lot of you guys actually brought to my attention that this shoulder patch was used on their stadium series with some orange in it i had no idea i think it looks way better like this now i do want to say something i recorded this video literally right before this and i went on a huge tangent about this and i want to bring it up because i was thrown off by this photo so i have a photo up on the screen here of the jersey the whole uniform which just looks fantastic by the way the whole uniform looks great the black helmet black gloves the black pants everything about this uniform looks unreal like this is a 10 out of 10 uniform in my opinion but if you look at the jersey right under the logo it looks like there's like a sublimation print line there and if you guys don't know what that looks like or what I'm talking about, look at this. So the Calgary Flames Reverse Retro 2 is a perfect example. It's got right where the striping ends on the torso, there's like a line that kind of separates it. 
there you guys can see it there that's perfect view of that line that separates it because the material down here like these aren't real stripes is different than up here and on this photo here of the san jose sharks jersey it looks like that is that line that separates the material is right under the torso which had me so scared i already have this jersey ordered from ben h it is on the way it should be here next week so i'll be able to unbox it and see it in person but that's just what it looked like here and it had me so scared and then i had this photo which you guys can see on the screen here and you can tell that the sublimation print actually doesn't go up that high it is actually just after the white stripes which was just a breath of fresh air i was like thank goodness because that would have ruined this it is like that supplementary print is like that on the new york rangers alternate jersey which is another thing i don't like about the sublimation print i just i hate that aspect about it but it's actually done really nicely here where you can't tell but there you guys have it that is my initial breakdown on the san jose sharks alternate jersey that came out i'd give this thing a 10 out of 10 jersey i love it it's new it's unique it's fun it also just looks very fitting to their brand i love this thing i'm excited to get it in like i said i should get this next week you guys will probably see this a week from today i'll be unboxing this jersey which i'm pumped for and again if you guys do want to see me react to the stadium series jerseys make sure to like the video and subscribe i will be posting that tomorrow so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you in the next one Peace.